Hello there, uh, Mike Henderson here with a video in a series on how to typeset your novel using OpenOffice Writer. Uh, this is going to be the video on styles. Uh, we used them a little bit in the, in the course of uh, typesetting the thing, but, um, and this is probably one of the, this is probably the first video you should watch on that's on uh, in the series because the key to the whole thing to produce the book the way a book looks is to understand how it does styles or how it formats a page which they call uh, page styles so now if you look here this is the binding of the book oops I don't want to do that this is the binding of the book and this is the outside of the page. You notice that these two are not the same width because this is this goes down into the fold of the book, it goes into the curve, to the spine. And if you make it the same width, then it, the, the text may go down into the fold and you don't want that to happen. So the convention is that this is always wider. Um, now in the videos, as I go through them, you will f I have this backwards because that's how it, it kind of has to be. What I've done to fudge it a little bit is I've inserted a blank page. And you might be able to do that in order to try to keep your head straight and what you're doing left and right. But when you upload this to um, CreateSpace, you're going to have to delete this page because CreateSpace automatically inserts it. So then you will end up with two blank pages and everything will definitely be off. So remember to, if you do insert a page like this, just to help yourself uh, remember what's left and right, then uh, remember to delete it at the end. So here we have, uh, so the style, this, the style of this page is a there are really four types of page. You need a left-hand page, which is what this is, just a plain old left-hand page of text that has a has a header, so we can put uh, the name of the author and the page number. You need a right-hand page, which has the title of the book and the page number, although you can put the page number at the bottom. Uh, there's no rules one way or the other. I just like it up here. Uh, you also need a left I mean, uh, right, this is right-hand side now, so it's the right-hand side first page. It's the first page of the chapter on the right-hand side of the book where it is no header. And similarly, you need one for the left. So if we find a place where there is uh, the chapter begins on the left-hand side, it's the same idea. So here's one. So this is a left-hand first page. And the left-hand first page is always followed by a right hand page not a right hand first page because you want the header always followed by right hand page that take that puts the uh, header on and uh, vice versa if a left a, a right hand uh, first page is always followed by a left hand page how do we do this it is done by going to format styles and formatting and then uh, clicking this icon here which is page styles so it may come up with one of these with a different kind of list and it'll be a little bit confusing so uh, just go over here to page styles and it lists out the page styles which uh, somewhere here by default like most of these right here obviously default is by default uh, envelope and all this uh, these are here I created um, a first page right and the first page left and then there is also the um, there's a plain old first page which we will ignore that for the moment and uh, then there is um, the right hand page and the left hand page so we've got to worry about so let's for a moment see what we have to do so let's say let's go to the right hand page we'll select it uh, we will left uh, right click rather modify it and it comes up, it tells you here in this dialog box that it's a right-hand page. Um, 
the right hand page is always going to be followed by a left hand page and that is just a drop down menu you, you select what it is but it's always going to be followed by a left hand page and we go to page and this is really where the meat of it is um, this all depends on the size of the book now, uh, of course this all relates to a print book an ebook is this is not really relevant that much to a print, to, uh, rather to an ebook or the Kindle version. This is uh, formatting a book to upload the create space to make a print version of your book, which you need to have, and is a lot of fun to get in the mail. All right, so uh, I like the five and a quarter by eight. So it just I just enter these numbers. You can just highlight it, enter it. You can also use up and down arrows if you want. But I don't find that particularly useful. Uh, 5.25 5 or 5 and a quarter by 8. Uh, portrait, which is in this orientation, is obviously how you want a book. And then the margins are uh, a function of, of this, and you get this information from Create Space. If you go to, uh, you, you, <coughs> you can go to Create Space and get the uh, dimensions and margin sizes and such for uh, your print books. And if you notice that this says inner and outer instead of left and right because we're talking about a mirrored arrangement and that is how the book is. This is the key. This is the big secret uh, to doing this right. The page layout must be mirrored. So you just drop down menu, and you have these options, and you select mirrored, and it comes up like so. So you enter the in, inner, outer, top, and bottom numbers that Create Space gives you, and this is a little diagram of what the page layout looks like. So you notice that this margin is more narrow than this margin, and that's because this is the spine of the book, and the uh, page goes off into the, the, the curve of the book and uh, towards the spine so if it were any narrower much narrower then text may go all the way to the into the center it's very distracting to read it and then this little bar across the top is the header because we want the left and right pages of the text to have headers background forget about it's just going to be white uh, header so you go here and you want the header on and you do not want this box tick so if it's tick untick it because we want the left hand page to be different the header of the left hand page to be different than the header of the right hand page uh, I don't use footers if you uh, if you put the page number on the footer then you would select the footer and and I don't know if it makes any difference if it's the same context or not, but I don't use, or the same content, but I don't use uh, footers. Now, otherwise, that's it. That's how you set this up. And you would do the same thing for the uh, left page. Uh, and the left page, of course, is followed by a right page. Then what you're going to need is a first page left and a first page right. So we'll just click on the first page left. We'll modify it so we can look at it. Um, organizer is that the first page left is always followed by a right page. Not a first page right because uh, you want the text with the header on the next page. This would be, for example, the first page of a chapter where there is no header. So we go to the page and uh, we have it set up the way we wanted it. It's mirrored. Header is off no header, untick the box and the diagram shows that there's no header and that is how it works for uh, the uh, first right hand page so when you're coming through here uh, ignore this for now, it's just a front matter and I talk about that in the, in the book I mean in the videos, so here we are this is a first page right. After the first page right comes a left hand page which has the header so you notice here there's no header. So the convention is that the first page of the chapter 
or any blank pages that you may want to insert uh, does not have a header. Uh, the left hand page in this case and then this starts with page so but this is page one still the page numbering begins here and counts as towards that so the first page number is going to be page two and I set it up with my name on the left hand side of the book and the title of the book on the um, right and I put the page numbers on the outside um, I don't know that there's any hard fast rule about it but that's just the way I like to see it and that's how it goes through the book. Now, the, the real key to this is, let's, let's just go down here, and this is a chapter or whatever it is, 37. If I wanted to put in another page, if I have another chapter, I have to insert the proper page. So let's go over here for a second. Uh, I'm going to, this is just a, a plain, I didn't want to do that. Uh, this is a plain old manuscript. I've, I've just um, formatted it in, uh, I mean, uh, uh, compiled it out of Scrivener. Now this shows, and by the way, down here it tells you the um, style of the page. So we go up here to the, this is the very first page of the whole thing, and it's the first page. Uh, this is also a first page. And um, I didn't change any of it. This is the default version. If I come down here and I put in, I'll show you one thing that's going to happen if, you, if you're not careful. So if I, if I come here and I say, well, I've got part one, and I want this to be first page, it's technically first page left, right? So um, I will insert, you, you've got to insert the page. So you go to insert, manual break. I'll do that again in case you missed it. Insert, manual break, page break style. This is you tell it what st style to make the new page. And I'm going to make it a uh, first page left. I'm not going to change the page number. I don't think I have to. But by the way, if, if your page number gets jacked up, then this is where the problem could be. Okay. All right. Now you see what happened here? These are... Uh, I, uh, this is the default size, basically, and uh, this is the page size in my book. So then we have this little bit of a goofiness here, so what we're going to do is undo that. So if you end up with this, that's what you've done wrong. Undo. Goes back to what it was. Um, So one way to get around that, right, we go to format, uh, styles and formatting, I go to uh, first page, wherever it went, I can modify it, uh, page, I'm going to tell it, I don't want a header, I'm just going to tell it to do, uh, and I don't care about the rest of it right now, really, so I'm just going to tell it to do 5.25 by um, 8. And that was really what my problem was. I'll say OK. And then the uh, def default page here, I'll do the same thing. I'll modify it. So it's going to be 5.25 by 8. OK. So, there you go. So everything goes back. So it's hunky-dory. It's the way it should be. But now, I can't just go here. I want this to be a first page. I don't want it to be default. I want it to be a first page left. So if I go to format, uh, styles and formatting, first page, left, first left page, if I double click it, okay. So what have we done? 
Uh, all right, so uh, that may be all I have to do. So I go to left page. So it's um, no. So it, you see what it says? It shows it to be a left page. It went back to being a left and right page. So it, it doesn't work that way. I have to go to insert, manual break, page break. I want it to be a first left hand page. OK. OK, now it inserted a blank page. I just have to get this page up there. I will put the cursor here and backspace to uh, hopefully delete to get the page up to where I want it to be. Maybe I just go up here and delete it. There we go. I deleted it and this should be first left page. Now don't be confused because it's on the right. If you remember uh, a, mo uh, a few minutes ago I told you that I inserted a blank page here to make it look okay. I'm not going to do that just for the sake of argument here. So that's what you have to do. Now this is the first page left so this should be a first this should be a right hand page and this should be a left hand page so over here I can put uh, right header and uh, left header whoops and hopefully that is the header yes okay so now you see that this follows through left right left right left right everything is hunky dory until I come to a new chapter okay this is chapter two and you see it has the header I don't want the header because I want this is the beginning of the new chapter so I've got to go here I'm going to uh, insert manual break page break and I want this to be left because that's what it's supposed to be here and there you go so then I have that I'm going to just press delete a couple times maybe okay so then it goes through this rigmarole for some reason and then up comes uh, chapter 2 with no header and it tells you that it's the first page left and then over here is right and it has right header left header and right on through the book so whenever you have a the text, the header should always be on the same side, the same header on the same side all the way through the whole book. And that is uh, pretty much the size of it. Um, I hope that made it clear. If it didn't, uh, you know, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can uh, clarify things. All right, take it easy.